there's three key ingredients that we believe either build a dollar bull market or a bear market. Two of them short term in nature and one of them is more long term. The first on the short term is positioning. That has been firmly in a strong bull dollar stance for quite some time. The second is going to be interest rate differentials. Again, that has pretty firmly been in favor of the dollar given the pace that the Fed has been hiking at compared to other central banks. And the third is growth differentials. Despite this hawkishness from the Fed, we still have seen U.S. growth outpace many areas across the globe. So what we're seeing right now is the first key ingredient rolling over. Since we have uh, you know, seen nearer term peak Fed hawkishness on the Fed funds rate around 5.3% earlier this month in late October, you started to see positioning roll over. You're seeing people get rid of their long dollar speculative positioning. That's extremely important. The next thing we're going to be watching is, are we, have we seen the peak in Fed hawkishness? Can we start to see those interest rate differentials roll over? That will be the next key leg for us to step into that non-dollar trade 